Okay, so here's another hack that I'm gonna I'm gonna show you today using gas. You noticed like fixing the brake caliper, fixing these brakes. You notice there's a bunch of gungs in here. To get them out really fast, okay, like in here, you just put gas in the bottle and spray a bunch of them in there, okay? And then tilt it over. You notice right there, all the gunks is coming out of there. Like the, these pins, look how shiny they are now. Like all these gunks right here. Let's see that. All these gunks that is here. See all that? It'll come right off for you. Okay. Now the thing is here. No. Then it'd be nice. Then it come here. Be nice. Sorry, my dog is in the. <laughs> Benny. So anyway, you just clean that with that and just paper towel, whatever. Let's see how it's cleaned. I know, look at even gloves is deteriorating from the from the gas right there. But you see the, the brake um, calipers to um, the bolts, these bolts. Just spray them like this right here. It'll take a lot of stuff off. And it's, and it's a lot easier than than um, getting um, um, like uh, brake cleaners. You know, you can brake, you can spray brake cleaners from here. But these, most of these parts are aluminum, and especially in here, there's no way you'd be able to get all that gunk out, especially brake fluid. They won't come out. Like they'll have some kind of like uh, anti seize agent, I think. They loop this right here. They looped all around here. And if you take this apart, you'll be able to see them like little gungs from them. And you can't put this on the grinding wheel because for this part here, it's actually plastic like. I think it's plastic or some kind of uh, rubber or something. It, it doesn't do it. You can't put them on a, a thing to clean it. So this is the only way to do it. And then if you notice all these brackets and stuff, it comes right off for you. Like look how dirty this is. Within seconds. I'll be able to get that in seconds. If you notice like that, see? This leaks in seconds. Like this part right here, that's gonna be hard to clean. Like, see all the gunk in there? Look at that. Within seconds, it, it falls off because it thins it out. And it falls right off, you see? That's one part there. And there's another part here. Look all this stuff stuck on there. Of course, I'm gonna have to, um. I have to, uh. Clean these off right here. See, I would have to replace the the grease, of course. But that's the pin for that. That's the emergency brake pin. And especially this right here, that has to be cleaned. These has to be. Those pins has to be really smooth in order for it to slide in and out. So when you're replacing it, that's what you would have to do. Same thing with these and this. Right here. Look at all the gunk in there. There's no way you'd be able to get it out. Quick. You'd be here forever. Trying to get this clean. See that? That's where that thing sits.
Sí. Now the same thing with those over here. Benny! Same thing with these nuts right here. Easiest way to get them out. Just spray them. Let it dry. And look at all that. That's the grease came from most of the stuff right here. And imagine it's, this was gas. So that's another way. And then you can actually go in and actually spray on the caliper itself. Because this is the brake caliper here. And there's a bunch of stuff in here, along here, okay? You will see a bunch of them. Right there. Okay. See that? Take that. And afterward, just take um, the, a degreaser and water. That's all you needed. Just degreaser and water. And you'll be able to fix all this stuff right here. You have these little little um, thing to hold on to these see that because the, um, uh, there's a little ring in here also that you had to grease make sure to grease that because this is actually act as a holder so make sure to grease that so it won't um, it won't come off because the gas, some stuff though, these it won't it won't ruin it because I've I've done before, but some some gas though they I mean some stuff you would have to test it first. But I know I've done this before. I've done plenty of other things as long as you don't leave them like on sitting there 24/7. You know what I mean? But if you see how these gungs in here, it's really hard to get it out unless you do this. See, you shake them, and you see how black that come out? That's the only way to get them out. Like, you'll be here forever if you don't do this. And then use the pin to wash it. See how dark the black came out? It's the only way. I'm going to bring the camera over here. And I'm going to do something else to this as well. I'm going to show you another location to do this. You're going to excuse my mess over here. Right here, on your brake. This is what I'm working on today. I'm gonna pan that out a little bit. This area right here, there's a lot of, there's always a lot of gunks in there. Oops, there goes my mask. Spray them on there and see how it's dripping. Look how it's dripping. All the dirty stuff coming down. It is the fastest and quickest way I know how. Even brake cleaners don't do this as quick as gas. See how it's dripping? You look right down here. Look at look at all the rust falling now. Even like I said, even brake cleaner doesn't do that. Same thing with here. That's how I clean these. Just gas. Cheaper, easier, and fast. Mm. 
Oopsie. Leave it there. Let it work as magic. It'll drip on its own. Believe it or not, people would think it's actually bad, but I've I've cleaned so many parts on this. So anyway, um, like here, if you have any anti-C stuff, gas will take them off too. You're gonna have to put it on afterward. And like I said, you can just use water to spray this off if you want. Or another option, a degreaser, like a like a normal spick and span degreaser, or even Windex have a, a, a degreaser. I think I'm not sure on that because I, I saw them in like a, a green bottle. I don't know if it's it was Windex or is it the store brand, one or the other. But if you use that. Try to use that to take the degreaser away. But before you do that, spray with gas. Put gas in here and then just spray them. As you can see, look at that. All that gunk in this little thing. See that? All that came from here. And put like paper towel or something so it will soak up. But that's how they do it. Just don't smoke around it. You'd be in trouble. Um, and afterward, just let it dry on its own. For my other parts, though, I'm gonna rinse it out with water, just plain water. I'm just gonna do it with just plain water, and then I let it dry and I put it back. But that's how I do it. And you can actually use gas to do uh, to fix bolts, to do bolts as well. Um, somehow it actually goes in faster like like WD-40 you know how those rust bolts remove blah 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 like WD-40 and so that works too and see all these green stuff like the anti-C stuff that it was on before that also comes off too with gas that helps too if you have like dirty dirty anti-C's and you can't get it out with just like like normal um, cleaning use um, use anti -C uh, use gas to remove anti C's that's another thing too but anyway um, I got gloves on this time but it's still tearing apart but I got gloves on this time um, but anyway that's how you would do it um, clean them things off really easily just like rust and stuff like even like right here if you look right there that can also be blown. But like I said, you have to be careful what you're spraying on though. Now watch. See? Easy and fast. I'm telling you. I've cleaned so many rusty parts and stuff and then it's the coating on there like some stuff if you don't want them to be protected leave it on there let it dry though before you do anything like don't spray it in any area that you know it's gonna catch on fire you see them like especially these see how it came like all nice and clean all the guns is all taken off now this is came a little bit better although I I, I am putting anti-seize on here because actually I like anti-seize better than um that's another tip too that I can that I can tip you if you're watching this video put anti-seize in the brake calipers and the pins this is this is part of the brake right here where the pump goes in and out if you notice I put a bunch of them in there see the surrounding I put that inside there with all the brakes so far I'm having very good luck with them so um, another thing you can do is take um, uh, grease and you would mix it with um, uh, anti seize in there for me this jug right here it's actually um, nine dollars I don't care so I put a bunch of them in there because I have a whole jug of them but if you're trying to save money 
um, then mix 50-50 and then put it inside here these pins and also these pin too put anti-seize on these pins rather than grease put these on because the agent that they put on here it's actually like it's sort of like a thermal paste um, I believe there's silicone and silver. This is, a, I believe, they're liquid silicone and silver. They probably won't tell you what they are in there, um, because they want to hide their um, um, their formulas. But I believe it's it's liquid silicone and silver particles. And um, what that does is, it uh, silicone will hold high heat. It won't, it won't um, uh, adhere in high heat, and for the anti-seized, it won't. Um, uh, for the for the sorry for the uh, sorry brain fart today. Um, uh, grease, it will hold high heat as well, and that's why I think that's what they do that. So if you take your um, anti-seize like a one spoon of anti-seize and one spoon of um, of uh, uh, grease mix them together and then fill these holes with them before you put the pin back like this before you put this pin back you would want to fill that up and that's what causing it from in and out now this is way before I started doing this because this break um, I have never touched it this is my first time doing this um, I have done it in other cars and trucks and believe it or not last year I did I started using this and now I, this year there was a um, um, I had to break I had to uh, uh, the caliper I didn't I didn't do the extreme like this so this year I had to take the caliper apart and when I took the caliper apart I did the same thing with this here and now it's I was able to take it in and out and is able to go in and out easily so I've learned my lesson from last year if you ever take your brake apart don't just change the brake do everything like clean everything up and everything like here you've noticed see how nice that is now Look at that. I brush I, I, I brush it all off and I clean all this stuff off and um, um, with the grinding wheel. Um, so that's how it came out. Look how nice it is now. And then I'm gonna anti-seize this section and the other section so it won't even adhere to the to the thing at all. I'm gonna anti-seize everything. Um, because if something happens they'll come right off so I like how they do here with these um, these bolts with the uh, green removable um, uh, sealant that they put in so sort of like that um, I didn't really like these too much like here if you if you can use um, and there's a thread that is like kind of like messed up so you if you can use um, uh, bolts stainless steel bolts um, so that's how I do it with things like these bolts and stuff like that. I mean, they're all going to be anti seize in them. And, um, like, believe it or not, $8 can save a lot of things. Even these little holes right here, although I cleaned this all up, it was a little rusty before, but I, I use gas. And then after that, I, I wash it. I wash all this stuff with water. After water, I went on the grinder and I wheel brush it and that's how it come out like that and for this part right here just put anti-seize in them um, any part that adhere together because later on if you have to take it apart again because sometimes it, you do and if you have to take it apart again like, like here for the brake fluid to enter and everything do that do that too um, like same thing with these and stuff um, even here, I'm going to take that off later and I'm going to do because I have to bleed the brake afterward so um, I mean it's I guess it's that's about it I even um, clean the emergency brake right here 
That's the emergency brake shoes, I guess they call it. Um, this is for the S10. This is for like GM type. So they make them like this, and it goes in here, and it just it just rub against here when it's when it's pressed in, you know. So that's important to 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 grease this whole section and make sure these pins will go in correctly too. Because right here, that's where the pin goes. Now remember, I've I'm not a mechanic, none whatsoever. I just uh, I just understand things when I when I open them. Um, I have no formal trainings whatsoever. So if you find this video and you're talking shit. I'm telling you, I have no formal trainings, and I don't care if you don't call. You call me an idiot, call me whatever. I don't even give a shit either. I'm just here spreading my freaking tips uh, that I've learned, and sometimes from people or uh, people pass along to me. So that's all I'm doing. So if you find this, and if you ever do breaks, Make sure, one, to make sure to use anti-seize, and two, if you're doing a caliper, take the anti-seize here and brush it inside before you put this back. Um, and then put grease around it afterward when you have the boot on. Uh, same thing with this one. Um, that's important because I had to take one apart a year later because like I said the the on the other uh, the, on the blazer so that's how I've learned that thank God I put um, anti season in and it was able to go in and out and plus these has to go in and out right here because it has to be moved a little bit so anti seize would help as well on that because this is just a boot holder it's just a holder really to 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 get the brake in from in and out and also this part right here too where the brake sits you have to put those in there like you know how it is right here that little that little clip make sure to put anti seize in there because that also moves back and forth um, some stuff is actually they make a metal this happened to be um, stainless steel so if you ever have these with stainless steel save them because when you buy new brakes, there might be um, there might be um, um, metal instead because they're going cheap on you. So use the stainless steel if you can, like these little clips right here where it sits here, where it sits right there and where the brake sits down. All you need to do is clean this area right here where it sits. If you see the evidence, see the evidence? That's all it is, is just move back and forth. So all you have to do is clean that area and put a little anti-seize down there. Or on the brake pad itself. I don't have the brake pad here, but uh, you get the idea. But anyway, if you find this video, just remember. Gas, anti-seize, and heavy-duty grease. Um, they sell them. The grease one I use, I use really cheap. I use the Walmart brand, and it's, uh, it's only $3 for a tub. And that got me through a lot of stuff. So if you take your time out a little bit and take your time out and, you know, put a little bit extra care on it a little later on when you have to take it all apart, it won't be as bad. And I have done that with all the wheels now. Um, I did, I, although I didn't make a video, I did those earlier this week. Um, these these front wheels right here and you can see right on there you can probably still see evidence of see right there down there that little hole right there there's a bunch of anti seize in there and then um, sometimes the wheel you'll be able to find them too um, like right here look see that's evidence of anti seize there so you can um, do a lot see right here look at that that's it, I see it right there. So, when I do them, see, look at that, on the wheel itself right there, that silver stuff right on the brake right there, that ring, that's anti-seize right there. So if you do them, um, anti-seize doesn't cost a lot. It'll cost you nothing, next to nothing. And see the brake part right there? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Right there. 
in there. You can see evidence of anti-season there and all over here too. And the only thing you can't do is on the brick itself. But at least all those is being done the correct way. And it's going to stay there for a while. And next year, I'm just going to take it all out and re-grease it and put it back again. Because I do them yearly now um, to prevent, like a preventive maintenance. I take them all out and make sure the, 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 the caliper and stuff is working correctly, blah, blah, blah. So if you do, make sure to put the anti-seize in there. Because like I said, it costs next to nothing, but it'll, it'll save you a lot of headaches later. Um, anyway, that's about it on this video, and I hope you find it useful.